Hi, I'm Dr. Pramod Shekhar Nair. Welcome to my video on a priori algorithm with Vekka. Those who have not watched my previous video on a priori algorithm, please do watch before you go further with this, uh, this particular video. Uh, just because of the reason I have already uh, explained uh, uh, the a priori algorithm in my previous video that would going to help you to understand the execution of a priori algorithm in Vekka. So when we start with, um, as you know, the a priori algorithm is one of the association rule mining algorithm. And uh, let us see how this algorithm can be executed in Vekka. Uh, as uh, you know, Vekka is one of the open source software which would have uh, many machine learning algorithms available so that uh, those algorithms would help us to understand and analyze now, before we start with, uh, let us have those um, prerequisites of a priori algorithm to be looked at. The different prerequisites of a priori algorithm is uh, one. Uh, we can have those to be divided into into three. One is being one of the uh, database is being very important. We should have a database. Then the second is being the minimum support and minimum confidence to be known. So uh, I'm going to use the same uh, same example which I have been already used with uh, the previous uh, video on a priori algorithm. So it's a kind of continuation of the same so that you're going to get a better idea at the end of this um, explanation. So here, if you go, if you look at those, uh, these example here in there are nine different transactions. Each of those transactions are having uh, some items are purchased by the customers. And um, if you look at uh, the minimum support, it's already been said here as two, and uh, that means 22 percentage and minimum confidence is also been set here. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this uh, file to be uh, first uh, created. So um, then after the same file will be called there in um, Vekka at the time while you go for a priori execution. Uh, so that it would be very clear enough uh, as uh, those who have continued my video watched from the a priori algorithm. So what we can do is we have to first analyze, just have an analyzing on this one. Here we can have different, these are being encoded. This is not the actual item. It is being as encoded, wherein the encoding has I1, I2, I3, I4, I5. These are the unique items which you are seeing here, I1, 2, I5. So uh, just, uh, just have a look into this uh, clearly so that it's going to help you later while we have some discussion on this one. Now, what we're going to do is we have to have an ARFF um, file to be created. The ARFF is the extension of a file format which I have uh, used, which I am going to use here in our Weka. Uh, as default, Weka is going to deal with uh, uh, ARFF extension file. So, what is ARFF? ARFS is an attribute relation file format. So that is what we're going to first uh, uh, design here so that uh, you would get an idea of how it would be made and later on how it can be used too. So that's what we're going to do it here. So first I have already created one uh, and it is kept here with just to save the time. So that is what you are seeing over here. And uh, if you look at the ARFF, um, wherein it can be in three different sections. One is being a relation, and second is being attribute, and the third is being the data. The relation, I have given a relation name here, supermarket, and uh, the attributes are also being uh, defined here in this. So if you look at these attributes, the name which I have given is that same encoded name of those items in our example, I1, I2, I3, I4, and I5. So um, here in, uh, along with that, what I given over here is uh, T, T in the sense true, true in the sense what we're going to do is here in, in the data, while we're going to show each of those transaction where if that particular item is been available, we we going to have that to be represented with T. And if those that particular item is not available, then we're going to have it been represented with question mark. This is what we're going to do it here. Let us have a look into the, the example once again. In this example, if you look at here, I1, I2, I5 is the first transaction. That means what we're going to do at the data, 
data where we are going to have I1, I2, I5 has been showing us it is present in the in the transaction. That's what we're going to show it here. That is what you will see in here. I1, I2, and I5. I1, I2, and I5 are mentioned with T, T, and the rest are been with question mark. Similarly, if you take the next one, that has been your, um, your next transaction, wherein I2 and I4 are present. I1, I3, and I5 are not being present. So that is what you are seeing over here. You can see where all T present. T is present in only two places. One is being the place of the I2, and the second is being at the place of I4. The, similarly, all those being set. And later on, what you have to do is you have to save this in the form of ARFF. This I have opened it in the not part where I have already given the name of that file is been a supermarket final one dot ARFF. How will you go into how this to be saved? You can have that to be saved as with uh, sevas wherein when you're going to get the sevas you going to have it's been saved with the extension what is that extension is going to be a r f f and uh, both the side you have to have double quotes to be given so that uh, double quotes to be given so that what going to happen will be this will be saved as a r f f file so this is what to be and you have to choose your destination and in that destination it will be saved as a RFF file. That's what has to be done here. So once you have done, I have already saved, that's why I'm not saving it again. So this is the one, this is the file that you're going to have, it's been fast with you. So one thing what has been required as this said is been done. What is been is the database and the next one, next two things have been support count as well as the confidence. So we have already created our our file which has been in in the name of supermarket and supermarket final so that is what we have done look here here it's been created a supermarket final one dot arff it's been already available next what we have to do is we have to have our um, VECA to be open so i just going to have the VECA is been opened over here so you're going to have that VECA is been with the gui chooser um, get opened so here in what are you going to have it's been we going to have this particular one to be opened with explorer you have to click on the explorer button here we have different applications possible here in we are going with the explorer first here what we going to do here is we just clicking on the explorer so that you're going to have that explorer get opened over here that i have already made it here it's been available this is what you going to have it as explorer here so what are you going to have you're going to have this explorer to be used for your execution of those algorithm so here in uh, you can see different uh, tabs one is being pre-processed then classify cluster associate um, and select attributes then visualize these are all been available but at that time when you're going to open it only pre-processed tab would be active and rest of those would be as inactive so you can have your file being selected here those these are the different um, possible ways you can have it we have already saved our file in the um, in the arf format so we just going to have that uh, file going to be accessed here so how are you going to access you just click on here so you're going to have that file can be get uh, opened so i have uh, uh, saved that file in the c drive just going to the c drive wherein i have kept it in the program files uh, just going through the program files and uh, wherein it's been there in veka 3.9 and there in the data um, folder where i kept it you can see that file here yeah it has been here in supermarket final one dot rff i just going to how that's been open here so once it's been opened, uh, you would be seeing those attributes and current. Uh, you can have the current relation here. That that going to speak about the relation that you have set in your RF file that is being a supermarket. Then you have the total instance being showing here as nine means total records are being nine. Then attributes which is being as five. There are five unique attributes that what we have set as I1 to I5. That you're going to see it over here then uh, these are your different uh, different attributes uh, names and all those things and remember while you're going to have your attributes being made there in the attribute section of your 
file creation, you have to have that attribute files have been as uh, nominal because your uh, a priori algorithm going to support the nominal values. So we have to have it's been the type of your um, that type of your attribute is been as nominal. We have to set it as nominal. Now what's next is going to be we have already now um, got the data or got the file in our VECA, where in our pre-process. So we have got it over there. If you have anything, anyone to be deleted from here, we can have that to be deleted. Or if you have any, any such uh, processing to be done over there, we can have all those things. But uh, I'm not ha having anything to do over here. I just want to have it been loaded into. Then later, you can see here in I have to go to the associate tab. We, earlier, you might have noticed, as I said, these all were inactive. Now it's been active. So we can have the associate tab to be clicked over here. So we are going to have the associate tab clicked. Where you can give the associate. Here we can have different asso association tool mining algorithm to be uh, to be seen. When you click on the choose, you can have that uh, which algorithm you want to have that 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 can be selected. So uh, now, as default, it's been a priori so that you can see while you click on the associate itself, the a priori being showing it here. And uh, now what has been required is, as you know, when we have seen this one, herein what we have done is been, we have set the minimum support and minimum confidence. We have to have this minimum confidence and minimum support to set at the beginning itself. As I told you, this has been the prerequisite here. So how are you going to have that to be set? We're going to have that to be set just by clicking on this, just by clicking over here. So you can see all those different parameters, what has been there is being popped in. So herein, we don't want to have the rest of the things to be looked at, only those what we are looking into as the parameters to set only to be looked at uh, because we are our plan is to have the approach to be executed properly and to do the proper analysis on that so here in if you look at one thing you can see one is uh, the metric type here in this metric type the confidence there are many different we have to have the confidence to be selected from here and uh, this is our minimum metric this is what your confidence going to be so this confidence can be set as 70 as because in our um, um, requirement or what we have said there as the the prior um, information given over here has been the minimum support and minimum confidence where it's been said as 70 percentage that's what you go uh, you going to set it here as 0.7 means it is 70 percentage what's next you have to do is you have to have your minimum lower bound minimum support that is what your minimum support that has to be set as we have already set uh, set it as 22 percentage so i'm going to have it's been set as 22 percentage so once you have set it's been 22 percentage so we have already set what are the three different prerequisites to be uh, set before you execute your uh, algorithm one is being the minimum support that we have set it as 22 percentage that means 0.22 then the another one is in the confidence you select the metric type as confidence and set it as 0.7 it is as 70 percentage once you have done that what's your next job is to have this to be Save and if you look at here in there is one more is been upper bound minimum support so here in that doesn't require to be done anything on that we have to keep as such it's been if it is 1.0 because it says of 100 percent that means it's going to be from point it's going to be from point two two it's going to be from point two two and up to 100 percentage all those will be considered there in that so you just click on this while you click on it you're going to have OK button to be clicked over. Just click OK button. What's next to be is if we have set all the parameters what to be set before it's been executed. So next you just go for executing it by clicking on the start button. Just click on the start. You can see that it's been executed and some of the summaries of the same is been uh, here in minimum support. What we have set is as came as, the, as 0.22, that is 22 percentage and minimum metric has been as confidence that has been 70 percentage that we have done already. Number of cycles performed is been 16 it's been there then the here it's been speaking about of different case in different times 1k as 1k as 2k as 3 that means one items sets two item sets and three item sets these all have been showing over here you can see that if you look at the previous video where it's been we have already seen so one item set there are five one item set there are six two item set there are 
two, three item sets and different combinations of those association rules with these different item sets is being, is being shown here. Now let us change the parameters what will happen. Let's see. Here in this, the parameter, I'm going to have some changes to be made on so that uh, we can have a analysis on by changing the support, what will happen over there. But, so I'm just going to have this to be reduced to now it is minus 22 percentage. I'm just going to have this minimum support has been reduced to one. That means it's been uh, 10 percentage. Let's see, uh, just going to save it over as uh, pressing OK. So now what has to be if you have made any cha any changes on the existing uh, properties so you have to have that to be saved by clicking okay so let me show you one more thing over there uh, i just uh, forgot in uh, a little before so what it's been here in one more thing you can see over here as important that's been speaking about the minimum uh, number of rules you can see here the number of rules being as default it's been set as 10 in the sense uh, the first 10 rules will show it over here in that so as you have seen there and i just going to have that to be uh, closed here so as you have seen here even though it was uh, set as uh, 10 minimum rules but um, it's been only six that that means there are only six rules in that that's why it's been showing with only six otherwise it would have been maximum at least um, at least it would have been shown with 10 so here in what i have done already is been i just made the change of the minimum support as you have seen here in minimum support i just set it as um, 10 percentage now let's see after doing those any changes on the properties you have to have the execution of the same once again so i just clicked on that you can see that now what has happened this a number of uh, rules being got increased as up to 10 it may be beyond 10 because we don't know that it may be beyond 10 as we have set it over there as 10 that's why it stopped over there let us see whether it's been having beyond that so i just going to have this been increased to let it be 15 i just going to have this to be increased as 15 and to check whether it's been having um, anything beyond that um, as the rules to execute uh, rules to show so i just done that and i just going to have the same being executed once again so you may be seeing yeah there are many more coming over that means whatever the minimum rules you have to see that much you can set over there that's what we have done over here so any all those executions you can see here in the rules list uh, sorry results list so here if you click on this results list all those previous executions you can see with the result that's what you are doing it over here and uh, similarly you can have the confidence also being changed and you can have a check on that what what the influence that change is going to bring in there in the rules those all things you can check it this is what the way you can have the execution of uh, a priori algorithm um, on Veka. Uh, i hope you have uh, understood all those things what i said and uh, thank you thank you for uh, patiently watching this and we will meet once again with another video thank you thank you so much